welcome aboard. I can guarantee you'll enjoy the ride, especially if you like your soul ice cold, because none other than the ice man himself is going to be looking you right dead in your eyes. In the world of music and entertainment, few names shine as brightly as that of Don Cornelius. As the visionary behind the iconic music and dance television show Soul Train, he revolutionized the industry and brought the joy of rhythm and soul to millions. But behind the dazzling lights and electrifying performances, there lies a tale of controversy, secrets, and tragedy. We wanted to take a moment to note the passing of Don Cornelius, the creator of Soul Train. He died today in Los Angeles at 75, an apparent suicide. In this video, we will delve deep into the life and career of Don Cornelius, the man who made Soul Train a household name. But we won't just scratch the surface. We'll explore the tumultuous aspects of his personal life that often stayed hidden from the spotlight. Questions loom large. What really happened behind the scenes? What led to his tragic end? Was it all as it seemed? Join us on this journey as we uncover the intriguing story of Don Cornelius, from his controversial relationships to his mysterious death. Buckle up because the truth is stranger than fiction. Let's get it on. As the smooth-talking host of Soul Train, Don Cornelius exuded charisma and charm on screen. But off screen, his life was marred by controversy. Don was a prominent figure in the world of American entertainment, best known as the creator and host of the iconic television show Soul Train. While he achieved great success and recognition during his career, his life was marked by both triumphs and tragedies, ultimately culminating in a heartbreaking end. Donald Cortez Cornelius was born on September 27, 1936, in Chicago, Illinois. He grew up in the city's Bronzeville neighborhood, which was known for its vibrant African-American culture. He was the son of a postal worker and a homemaker, and he attended Ducible High School, where he was exposed to various forms of music, including jazz, blues, and gospel. After graduating from high school, Don joined the United States Marine Corps and served for several years. Upon leaving the military, he worked a series of odd jobs, including selling insurance and cars. However, it was his passion for broadcasting and his desire to make a mark in the entertainment industry that would eventually define his career. In the early 1960s, Don began working at W. Vaughn, a Chicago radio station that primarily catered to the African-American community. His experience as a radio announcer allowed him to hone his communication skills and develop a deep understanding of the music industry. It was during this time that he recognized a significant gap in the market for a television show dedicated to African-American music and culture. Then, in 1970, he decided to turn his vision into reality and created Soul Train. This groundbreaking television program became the first nationally syndicated dance show that exclusively featured African-American artists and dancers. The show quickly gained popularity and became a cultural phenomenon, introducing audiences to the latest R&B, soul, funk, and disco music. Soul Train was not only a platform for showcasing musical talent, but also a celebration of African-American culture, fashion, and dance. Don played a crucial role in shaping the show's format and content, ensuring that it remained relevant and captivating for its viewers. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, Soul Train enjoyed immense success and played a pivotal role in promoting African-American artists and their music. The show featured legendary performers such as James Brown, Aretha Franklin, Marvin Gaye, and Stevie Wonder, helping to launch and solidify their careers. Don's distinctive voice and charismatic presence as the show's host made him an iconic figure in American television. His catchphrase, love, peace, and soul, became synonymous with the show and represented a message of unity and positivity during a time of social and political turmoil in the United States. Beyond its musical and cultural impact, Soul Train also provided a platform for showcasing African-American fashion trends and dance styles. The iconic Soul Train line, where dancers would showcase their moves down the center of the stage, became a signature element of the show and a symbol of African-American self-expression. But despite the success of Soul Train and Don Cornelius's rise to fame, his personal life was not without its challenges. He struggled with the pressures of maintaining a successful television show and faced financial difficulties at times. Additionally, the demanding nature of his work took a toll on his personal life and relationships. Cornelius's first marriage to Dolores Harrison ended in divorce, and he later married Victoria Chapman, with whom he had two children. 
However, this marriage also faced difficulties and ultimately ended in divorce. His personal life became increasingly complex, and he encountered legal and financial troubles that would later contribute to the tragic turn his life would take. Victoria Chapman Cornelius was at the center of the broadcaster's fall. Don's marriage to the former Miss Ukraine turned adult film star sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry. It was a union that raised eyebrows and ignited gossip columns. The tale of Don Cornelius's controversies is one that unfolds like a gripping drama. It's a story of highs and lows, love and discord, and it's a testament to the complexities of human relationships. As Soul Train took shape, Don's passion for music shone through in every episode. He not only showcased the biggest stars of the era, but also gave a platform to emerging talents. The show was a celebration of rhythm and soul, a reflection of the cultural and musical landscape of the 1970s. But alongside the success of Soul Train, Don's personal life was marked by turbulence. Accusations of assault raised eyebrows and cast a shadow over his image. Restraining orders further complicated matters, leading to questions about the nature of his relationships. In the court of public opinion, Don found himself under scrutiny. Some questioned whether the allegations were a stain on his legacy, while others believed that the controversies were blown out of proportion. The truth, as often is the case, lies somewhere in between. In all fairness, it's essential to view Don Cornelius's life and career as a multifaceted journey. His contributions to music and entertainment are undeniable, and Soul Train remains an enduring legacy. However, his personal struggles and controversies remind us that even those in the spotlight carry their own burdens. The 1970s were a time of significant cultural shifts, with changing attitudes towards relationships, gender roles, and domestic dynamics. Don's experiences were a reflection of the era's complexities. Some argue that the media's scrutiny overshadowed his contributions to music and culture. Others contend that his personal life cannot be separated from his professional achievements. But if there is one name that is responsible for tarnishing Don's career, then it has to be Victoria Chapman. The model's journey began far from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. Born in Ukraine, she had dreams and aspirations that led her down a path less traveled. Her early life was marked by challenges and opportunities, setting the stage for a remarkable journey. As a young woman, Victoria's beauty and charisma caught the attention of many. She was crowned Miss Ukraine, a title that brought her into the public eye. But as we often find in life, destiny has its own plans. The transition from beauty queen to adult film star was a decision that shocked many. It was a path that diverged from societal norms and expectations. Her journey into the world of adult entertainment was met with both fascination and controversy. Some questioned her decisions, while others saw her as a symbol of empowerment, making choices on her own terms. Dawn's life had been a roller coaster of triumphs and tribulations. From the heights of Soul Train's success to the complexities of his relationships, he had weathered many storms. But the events leading up to his tragic end remain shrouded in mystery. The investigation into Don's death raised difficult questions. What had transpired in the days leading up to that fateful moment? Did he leave any clues or messages behind? And perhaps most hauntingly, why had he chosen to end his life? The news of Don's apparent died sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry and beyond. He had been an iconic figure, a pioneer who had brought joy and music into the lives of millions. Yet, beneath the surface, he had carried a burden that few had seen. The investigation into his death was a sobering process. Detectives combed through evidence, interviewed those who had interacted with him in his final days, and sought to understand the mindset of a man who had seemed to have it all. But investigations, as thorough as they may be, can only reveal so much. The human psyche is a labyrinth of emotions and experiences, and the reasons behind one's decision to end one's life often elude easy explanations. In the wake of Dawn's apparent <laughs> reactions poured in from all corners of the world. The shock and grief were palpable, as were the questions about what had driven him to such a desperate act. For those who had known and worked with Dawn, the news was particularly devastating. They shared their memories, their insights into his character, and their sense of loss. The tributes that poured in painted a portrait of a man who had left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. The legacy of Don Cornelius was undeniable, but his tragic end raised uncomfortable questions. Had the pressures of fame, the controversies, and the personal struggles taken a toll on him that no one had fully grasped? His story is a stark reminder that even those who bring joy to the world can carry their own burdens. Despite the tragic end to his life, Don Cornelius's legacy lives on. 
His pioneering work with Soul Train not only showcased African-American music and culture, but also paved the way for greater diversity and representation in the entertainment industry. The show remains a symbol of the power of music and dance to bring people together and break down racial barriers. Soul Train also played a crucial role in introducing African-American artists to a broader audience and contributing to the mainstream success of many musicians who might have otherwise remained in the shadows. The show's influence can still be seen in contemporary music, fashion, and dance. Don Cornelius' commitment to promoting love, peace, and soul left an indelible mark on American culture. His tragic end serves as a reminder of the importance of addressing mental health issues and seeking help when faced with personal struggles. While his life had its share of hardships, Don's impact on the world of entertainment and his contributions to African-American culture will always be remembered and celebrated. Ultimately, Don Cornelius's life was a complex and tragic one, marked by incredible achievements in the world of entertainment and a legacy that continues to inspire and resonate with people today. Despite the challenges he faced, he will always be remembered as the visionary creator of Soul Train and a trailblazer who made a lasting impact on American music, culture, and television. His story serves as a poignant reminder of the highs and lows that can accompany success and fame in the entertainment industry, as well as the importance of addressing personal struggles and seeking help when needed. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.